couple weeks left until the long Memorial Day weekend, and if you are planning to hit the road for a vacation, you might want to consider bringing along more than just gas and food. Our Monday morning mechanic, David Rogers, joining us live with five things everyone should have with them in the car before they leave. Hi, David. Well, good morning, Natalie. How you doing, Tom? We're good. Now, I know that Natalie and Angie will benefit from this list, but since Tom's been consulting an astrologer, right. I'm pretty sure you won't need any of this stuff. All set. <laughs> the first thing I want to tell you about today, we, we have antifreeze. You should always carry some extra antifreeze. Um, this is a 50-50 pre-mix, so you don't have to add water, and I really like that. Uh, it takes all the guesswork out of it. Also, um, whatever kind of oil you're using in your car, I recommend you keep a couple of quarts in there. Even if the car's newer, it's just a great idea. Um, in addition to that, we call this 200 mile an hour tape. You might call it duct tape. It's that gray, silver, sticky stuff. You can use this for anything. It'll hold car p parts onto the car. They call it 200 mile an hour tape because they hold race cars together with it in NASCAR. You can actually use it to, to heal a, a slightly leaking hose or something. So it's a really useful thing. Another item that people often overlook is maps. You know, I for one don't like to look at maps until I'm lost. But you can carry maps. They've got the GPS's in the cars nowadays. One of my favorite navigational aids is the In Fisherman magazine, but that's another story. The, <laughs> the other thing I want to tell you is to have a few tools around. I like to have a pair of pliers and a pair of dikes. These things are great for snipping things off. You got some screwdrivers. I carry a ratchet driver. I really like this one because it has all the different little heads in it for just about anything, including the Torx bits, so that's kind of handy. Um, I carry some real basic nuts and bolts and some electrical connectors to make life a little easier in case something wears out or breaks. Very easy to replace. Um, in addition to that, water. A lot of people forget, you know, staying hydrated is critical. Whether it's for you or the dog, water is critical. It's not as much for the car as it is for you in case you get stuck, God forbid. Um, I also carry a little bit of silicone. This stuff is the fix-all, you know, you can put it, your tennis shoe together with it or you can use it to form a gasket on your car if you have something leaking. It's a very handy product. Last thing I want to tell you too, um, in case all this doesn't work or you do get stuck, it's a really important idea to have some flares. They have these little triangles today too. This one actually folds up. I don't have time to do it today, but that actually folds up into just something no bigger than, you know, this big. So it's pretty handy. And finally, if you're going on a road trip and you have a smaller car, this is one of those little spares. We call them donuts. Donuts are made for eating, not driving on. I say throw this thing away and get a real spare tire if you're going on a long road trip. This is only designed to go 45, 50 miles an hour, and they only last for about 50 miles. If you want to put your life on a donut, that's fine. I, I don't intend to. Um, I hope you have a safe vacation this year. And uh, Tom, really. Yeah give up astrology. Well, you know, I got to be honest, I'm sitting there watching you with all this stuff and I'm thinking what the professor could have done had Gilligan packed all that oh, stuff. Oh, man. <laughs> They'd have been off that island in 45 minutes. Little buddy. I don't know about that, yeah. Tom. I don't know. <laughs> Natalie was sitting here saying, and said, why do I need all that stuff when I have a cell phone? It. Yeah, right. You, you hope the cell phone's going to work. I'm looking at it going, they're like, what am I going to do with a screwdriver and the little box of screws and nuts? Like, I wouldn't know how to fix it. You play with I guess my last item, Natalie, over. this works really good yeah. if you don't have the other I'll stuff. I'll tell you, the two important things that I can think of that I keep in my car, one is that portable charger. I've used that so many times where you don't have to hook up to another car if your battery dies, you know? Uh -huh, you know uh -huh. what I'm talking no, about. But go ahead. Absolutely. And extra diapers and wipes. <laughs> you never know when you're going to need them if you I have babies I never thought in the of the car. diapers. <laughs> There you go. Not for baby. David, thanks as <laughs> always. We'll see you next week. Thank you. Have a great vacation.